A Lexington law firm is making it easier for people to clear a certain crime from their record with the launch of a new online tool. Yeah, it takes advantage of a provision in the Controlled Substance Act that allows people to apply to get their marijuana possession convictions voided. LAX 18's Sophia Millar explains. A tool born out of the desire to save time. Oh, and it saves people a lot of money. Baldoni Law Group launched this tool on their website today. Under Kentucky law, a person convicted for possession of marijuana can apply to get their record voided and sealed. If you have a jail sentence, you obviously have to wait until you're out of jail to do this. Uh, but those are really the only criteria. In order to file the motion, there's a series of steps that need to be taken. But this is really pretty boilerplate work, and that's why we realized that a computer could do it. The webpage Baldani Law developed puts things into a simple format, name, address. Ideally, you'll have your case number, too. The tool then generates a document that needs to be signed and filed with the county clerk. This process is typically done by a lawyer, but Clark says it's really not necessary to hire one. Going down this route, you're going to have to be a little bit proactive. You're going to have to be willing to go into court and at least talk for yourself. Um, but. Ultimately, these motions are relatively simple. A court date will be assigned. And then once that's done, it would take the clerks probably less than a week to process it. Clark says a majority of his clients are successful. In my experience, most courts are happy to grant these kinds of motions because people are, you know, paid their debt to society and they're trying to move forward. Of course, if they had problems and they were looking to hire a lawyer, they could call us. But we want ultimately this to be a money-saving thing so more people can do it. In Lexington, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News. The online application is free and it's tailored to work in every county. It can be found on the Baldini Law Group's website under the Resources tab.